2016, the Shar Center had its official groundbreaking. Not only will the Shar Center be holding new basketball and volleyball facilities, but the capacity for Elon events will increase to over 5,000 people. With such an increase in capacity now coming to Elon for events, Oak House owner Phil Smith and Pandora's Pies owner Peter Eustache already enjoy a large amount of business from Elon events and Elon games. Well, we usually get a nice little crowd before the games. People who come by maybe to have a drink or a snack, grab a coffee. Um, and then after the games, uh, we, we have a, usually have a really nice crowd. Um, probably a little better crowd when they win. But, um, you know, the coaches come in and a lot of folks from the community come in and um, hopefully celebrate a win or just get together and talk about the game even if it wasn't the best game. Anytime you have an event on campus, uh, we see a, an increase in surge in business. Um, so basketball games, volleyball tournaments, guest speakers. So uh, the new Convocation Center should also really help with that. Both Smith and Eustache agree that not only the increase in size of the Shar Center will help businesses in Elon, but also its diverse capabilities and use could have a great impact. Well, I think the Shar Center ought to bring more people into the area, and so I think more people is more business. So when there are events and things, I mean, there's more capacity, obviously, than, than what the university currently has for events like that. So, uh, so I, the more people there, the more people downtown, the more people staying, maybe staying over. So I, I think it can only have a very, very positive economic impact. I think the greatest thing that we can do is kind of diversify what we use that building for, hopefully. Um, speaking from an alumni, um, is, you know, student events, uh, events that are open to the public as well, um, hosting tournaments, uh, you know, just being able to use it for its maximum resources to kind of let everybody benefit from it. It'd be, be cool to have some concerts and things like that, maybe the, the capacity, we don't have capacity for now. Um, so yeah, I'm just anxious to see what it looks like and, and to get in there. I'm a basketball fan, so I'm looking forward to that especially. Both Smith and Eustache agree that the increase in capacity from the stadium will probably have the largest impact, not only for them, but for the wider community. Events at the Shar Center that are bringing people from out of town um, and say it was a big thing that packed it out. Um, the capacity of downtown Elon, that would exceed our capacity to feed and beverage all those people. So hopefully that would bleed over into uh, Burlington. Hopefully that would even benefit them. And, and obviously the, the events that we already do on campus like graduation and you know just even move-in weekend and, and, and convocations and things like that, I think they'll be on a little grander scale perhaps with the Shar Center. Any growth and development uh, in the town of Elon is you know, going to bring more jobs, more students, more people from outside of the community. Despite the longer distance between downtown Elon and the Shar Center, both are still hopeful that the Shar Center will have an increase in business for years to come. The difference is the Shar Center is a little further down the street, you know, so it's not as quick of a walk as Alumni Gym, but um, I would imagine people on a nice day especially are going to be just as apt to walk here, walk there, you know, back and forth. You know, it's pride. Once you have something and it's nice in your own community and you're able to go there and use it, you, you create pride and you want to be, you know, you want to relate to it. And so I think it'll only create a better relationship.